Baruch Shabbat to all the brethren in the diaspora, Yasha Allah. We come to you, uh, brothers and sisters, this day, the sixth day of April 2014, on a Sunday. And we have a, an opportunity today to share some information, some knowledge from an elder here in, um, in Freeport, Bahamas. So we, act, we, we would like you to sit back and get ready for the treat of hearing from this elder. I met the elders some time ago um, in September last year, 2013. I think it was somewhere near about the 18th to the 20th, 20th of September. And we had little words that prompted me to ask him for the opportunity to share uh, in some of his knowledge and he has kindly consented to uh, an interview of sorts and so I wanted to introduce to you our elder of course my name is brother Leonard you know me as Howling Benjamin, Benjamin Israel on YouTube. So I would like now for the elder to, to introduce himself to us. Elder, can you tell us what is your name? Sam, and Samuel. Samuel. Samuel? Samuel to your place. Samuel. Theophilus Thompson. Nixon. Theophilus Thompson. Thompson. Nixon. 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 See. Nixon is my uh, Nixon is my mother's title. Uh huh. Uh, Can you speak up a little? Ella? Samuel is my name, and Theophilus is my middle name. O okay. The elder says his name is Samuel Theophilus Nixon. Yeah. And and. On Tell July 18, 1941. July 18, 1941? July 18, 1941. In Nicholastown, Andrews. Nicholastown, Andrews? Yeah. All right. So, your parents were who again? Who were your parents? The Nixons. Lou Nixon. Lou? Lou Nixon and Annie Nixon. Annie Nixon was my mother. Lou Nixon was my grandfather. What about your, your dad? My dad was uh, Sammy. Sammy? Sammy Thompson. Sammy yeah. Thompson. Yeah. Very good. Um, so, Elder, can you tell us about your, some of your history, some of your connection to the, to the um, ancestors from way back? Do you know? Oh, um, for so my grandmother is, uh, my, my grandmother was Indian. Uh, Indian? Indian. Part of the Lucan Indians. Part of the Lucan Indians? Indians. Traditionally. Aunt Rosen. Aunt huh? Rosen. Aunt uh -huh. Rosen was the original part of them was inherited uh -huh. from, from um, the Arawaks. From the Arawaks oh, yeah. and the Lucan? Yeah. And that's, that's interesting, um, Elder. <clears throat> so, Well, let me read you something here from, from a book, from a book, um, from Columbus time. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is a book, it's called A Short History of the West Indies. And since you mentioned the Lucayans and the Arawaks, yeah. Um, 
I have here in this book a short history of the West Indies written by some of the slave slave masters descendants and on page page two the book says um, that today this is the, the very bottom line of the, the page page two and the short history of the West Indies says today the Arawaks uh, are hardly even a memory. It's often scale because of traditionally the, they don't teach people the historians about the Bahamas totally. They only teach them slightly, slightly. They don't teach them anything but the historians. Okay, but here in this this documentary again in this book, it says in the third paragraph that Columbus set sail from Palos Spain. or Palos on August 3rd and landed on Guanahani, which he named San Salvador, on October 11th. The recorded history of the Caribbean begins with his arrival. I, I sh should say the recorded, the recorded history of, of, of the Europeans' yeah. interaction they come in. with, with the natives. Yeah. Well, this book says um, in the larger islands of the, the Caribbean, the native people soon dwindle before the impact of an aggressive alien culture. This is what the slave master Stay. son is saying Stay. about the European yeah. co-mingling with the natives the that, that, with the natives. that Columbus met here. Met. Um, it says they could not adapt themselves to living beside Europeans. They could not retreat as the Plains Indians were to retreat centuries later yeah, they plundered them. with the dwindling buffalo herds. They, they plundered them. There was nowhere for them to go. No. Within a century, they were extinct. They were eliminated. They were eliminated, you say? Yeah. And a new society of immigrants from Europe oh, yeah. and Africa Come in. Had taken their place. Yeah. I suppose talking about Africa, they, they mean the, the slaves, the yeah. slave people that they yeah. brought out of Africa? Yeah. They mingle among us. So, how do you feel about that, Elder? About well, I am. Uh, well, I cannot express. Um, um, the way I feel, but I feel that it was very unjust. You think it was unjust? Well, really unjust, because they were actually plunderers, palaces, controlled, murderers, etc., etc., etc. A further quote on page four of this same book, A Short History of the West Indies, in paragraph two says, In Columbus's time, the Arawaks occupied all the greater islands of the Caribbean. But in the easternmost island, Puerto Rico, they were already suffering from the raids of an intrusive and far wow. more warlike people to whom the Spaniards gave the name of Caribs. So... The Spaniards kill off the rest. The Spanish did what? To finish, plunder, uh, kill, kill off the rest. Of, of whom? Of the Arawaks. Of the Arawaks? Yeah. And so you, these were your, these were your people? Yeah. Hmm. 
the history, history doesn't return like that. So, Elder, do you have any um, knowledge of the connection of the Arawak, Arawak Lukayan people to the to the Africans or the ancient peoples? Well, uh, not really that I can remember, um, uh, but I know we have a close relationship with them. We have a close relationship with them. In what way? What, what way do you mean that you were close? Uh, like like um, um, when 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 Columbus uh, before Columbus went back, uh, he had taken some uh, people uh -huh. uh, um, away from the island and take them into Africa, and they were still slaves. They were still slaves. Yeah. They took them from where to where? From the Caribbean. From the Caribbean? Yeah. To Africa, you said? Yeah. yeah. Now, there, there are some historical accounts that show that the, the native peoples that Columbus met in these islands were, in fact, and indeed connected to the the ancient Hebrew people. You don't, you don't have any, you have any knowledge of that at all, no? Hebrew Hebrew people. The Hebrew Israelites. Uh, well, uh, not really. You didn't know that. No. What what would happen? Uh, how would it change your thinking if? If you knew for sure that your people were connected to Africa, the ancient, the ancient Hebrews, yes, it's a possibility. Why do you say so? Because of the connection. What do you mean? The connection between um, um, when when Columbus came in and take some of the slavery. Columbus, them, they didn't kill all; they killed some. But they took uh, some along with them uh, on, on, the, on the same way to Africa. Uh -huh. And then they went around Spain. So they, they, they still had us in bar. So, well, let me ask you this question. Do you, did your people, your, your daddy and your, your mom, your mama or grandmama, did they tell you anything about... They didn't tell they, me anything. I mean, did they share any information with you about the, the wider Caribbean and the people no. that were living around there? No. What about... What about Mexico? you have any idea of the Mexican people, the original Mexican people? No. You don't, you don't know? No. I have a, I have another a quote here from chapter two of this short history of the West Indies, um, just to coincide with what you were saying about the decimation of the people by Columbus and the Spaniards. This, this um, second paragraph of page twenty-four of the book says. Indian servitude could only survive where the population density and coherence of the pre-existing society were sufficient, sufficient to create um, obedience and docility and to guarantee steady supplies of labor. Uh, elsewhere, the indigenous population collapsed on the first impact of the white 
conquest. The Europeans. Yes. <laughs> Whether in Brazil, where the natives fled from the coast to the interior, or in the United States. Either way, spread apart. That is the 13 original colonies. In the, in, in the populated zones, the Indians, the Indian population proved easy to regiment. Miraculously, it survived the hardships of conquest, conquest and civilization. And get this, Central Mexico, which had once some 25 million inhabitants, was reduced. It is estimated to a residual population of one million. Did you get that? Yeah. This says that a period of time, Mexico had 25 million inhabitants. Uh, people. And the Europeans. Yeah. But, but it was all mixed. It was all mixed. It wasn't one day, one race. Explain that. Um, well, Mexico alone had a lot of people. Uh, but it was still inherited from the, go back to the Incos. You know who the Incos are? Okay, who, who were the Incas? The Ing Incos was the Indians also. Okay, this is what this, this is talking about. <laughs> okay, okay. And the point here is saying, I, I mean, I'm only bringing out oh, the, the, the coincidence okay. oh. of the brutality and the the injury and harm that was done to the people to these um, these local people yeah. of the Caribbean, yeah. was, including the Bahamas. They was plundering. They was killing them out. In which way they could get them? If 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 if, if they don't kill them out, then they just grab a pile and still make them slave. It's still happening today. Still happening today. Yeah. <laughs> okay, furthermore it says the same abysme collapse occurred in the island of Hispaniola El Conquistadors in the Yucatan in Central America and later in Colombia so just, just adding to your understanding of what was going on here in the Bahamas with the Arawaks, the other Indian populations, as I understand it, in other parts of the Americas, as in the North, South, Central and South Americas, did you know that they were different tribes? Yeah. Do you know about the tribes? Do you have any mm. knowledge about the Not tribes? Not really. Not really? No. They were different tribes. Yeah. Well, my um, understanding of the history so far has led me to the conclusion that those different tribes uh, were belonging to the ten tribes of the children of Israel. I was scattered out of the land some 25 or so hundred, uh, 100 years ago. And um, that is the main reason why the, the conquistadors and the um, other various groups of European um, Settlers and um, they try to monopolize on the people. Well, they actually were destroying them Destroyer. because they knew too much. that they were the true people. They were the true people, yeah, the yeah. Hebrew Israelites. Yeah, you didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, I know that. You know that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why I mentioned to you, um, um, is the, um, part of them was 
the European titles the El Conquistadors and, and they call it El Doro. They 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 do they do the tribe the true traditional tribe of existence. That's why they try to kill them out in many, many ways. Okay, but well, well, what you're saying is that after the the Spaniards yeah. came in yeah. that they and the the original settlers Sanders. began to mingle together. Yeah. But but I, I was I was making a reference to the original people themselves. Oh. How there was some twenty five million of them oh. and then in a short while it was there was only a million. Yeah. So that's, they so twenty four million was wiped out just like that. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. So then, how, how do you feel about the fact that these people were the ancient people, the, the Hebrew Israelites of the, of, of the Bible? How, how does that make you feel? Um, I, I, I can't express that. I can't express that. I, I would like to express it, but I can't respect it because I'm still in existence, right? Mm -hmm. But um, uh, they're part of the, uh, the Illuminati's. Who's? Uh, Who's a part of the Illuminati? Them. Them who? They, 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 they worship the devil, Satan. Who? who? No. Who is part of the Illuminati? What, what do you uh, mean? The, 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 the group that put on the, uh, the, and kill out uh, um, half of our nation. Well. Check I'm, the Bible. I'm, I'm interested in hearing you saying that. Who, who are the Illuminati? Who is the Illuminati? Illuminati is, is, is an artificial um, fellas uh, would um, pretend to say they believe in the Lord God Almighty, but they don't believe, believe in the Lord God Almighty. They believe in Satan, the devil. Satan, which is Lucifer, the devil. Thank you, Lord. That's not the Call them the Illuminati. Illuminati. Yeah, they the one who they want to come to this plot and destroy the twelve tribes, finish the tribe of the Israel. Okay. Um, well, in view of that, you you seem to be able to make some little connection. Um, to the affiliation between the Arawaks, the Lucayans, yeah. and the other so-called Indian yeah, tribes yeah. as being of, of the 12 tribes of, of Israel. Yeah. And let me read a little passage here from the scriptures and see how, how you feel about this. We're going to Ezekiel, Ezekiel, chapter 12, verse 17. Ezekiel, chapter 12, and verse 17. This says, Therefore say, Thus saith, Yahweh Elohim, I will even gather you from the people and assemble you out of the countries where ye have been scattered, and I will give you the land of Israel. This is what the Heavenly Father is saying concerning the twelve tribes, the tribes that was scattered to the four winds, that he would we gather them. Really? Yes. Right. Did, did you know of this prophecy? Uh, you knew of this? Idea. Huh? I have a slight idea. You have a slight idea? Yeah. You didn't really read too much of it? No. Um, See, I still read and I still study it. You still study it? Oh, yeah, yeah. My Bible is here. You study the Bible? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, Verse 19 of this same chapter 12 says, 
and I will give them one heart and I will put a new spirit within you and I will take the stony heart out of their flesh and will give them a new, an heart of flesh. A new flesh. This, a new heart. well, let me, let me backtrack a little bit. Why would you, why am, is it, or, or do you know, since you made the, the analogy of, of the, the, the tribes being, uh, of the 12 tribes of Israel, do you have any idea of why they were scattered out of their homeland to these parts? Not really. Don't have any idea? No. Your, your and that's what I'm seeking. You're seeking to know yeah, that? Yeah. Okay. Well, now. Um, if we go into the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. Matter of fact, you can go to Genesis. Genesis, chapter 15, I believe it is. Let's see that. Genesis 15 and verse verse uh, 13. Genesis 15 verse 13. And he said unto to, to Abram, Know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them four hundred years. Verse 14, and also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge, and afterward shall they come out with great substance. This is the Heavenly Father speaking to our, our four, forefather, Abram, who became later on Abraham. Yeah. Abraham, you remember Abraham? Yeah. People say Abraham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the father. I mean, you speak in in in, um, in, um, in um, biblical uh, way because um, when you say Abba, uh, and then you didn't say Abraham. I not uh, it kind of freaks my mind back. But then I said, come back and forfeit what you say. Okay. Yeah, I understand what you say. Yeah. What, what I'm showing you here, since you said you did not have. The understanding of why no, the, the Israelites were scattered. I See, I read some, but I didn't study, but I have to go back over and get understand. Okay, so I'm, I'm helping you a little bit here. I understand. So this was the Father, Heavenly Father, speaking to Abraham um, from the beginning okay. and telling him what was going to happen to his, his descendants. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, and so from from Genesis you go into Deuteronomy chapter 28 and you will see more confirmation of what the father said to, Ab to, to Abraham concerning his seed being afflicted in a land that is not theirs. For instance, in, in Deuteronomy chapter 28, in the, in the first verse, it says, And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of Yahweh thy Elohim, to, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that Yahweh, Yah Elohim, will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. This is what our forefather Mo Moshe or Moses, Moses spoke to the children of okay. see, yeah, Israel when he brought yeah. them. You see, when, 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 when we are stating that, right, and um, I'm, um, with their dialects and my English dialects, I wouldn't understand. But um, I, when you mention it like that, I have an idea of whom he's speaking about. Yes, yeah, this is what Moses said to the to the children of Israel as they were coming out of Egypt and prepared to go into the promised land. So the father was now 
giving them instructions on how they were to conduct themselves. Yeah. And he said to them, if they listened to him, he would set them high right. above all the nations of the earth. Right. And, and they would carry on. And going down through the chapter, he pronounces blessings on them. Okay. That how they would be prosperous and blessed and have everything together. And everything would be all right with them if they obey him. Yeah. And then in the 15th verse, he says, this is still Deuteronomy chapter 28, 15 verse he says, But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken to the voice of Yahweh thy Elohim, to observe to do his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. You see? Yeah. So they were to be blessed and prosperous for listening for to the words of the Heavenly Father and obeying Him. And now curses will come upon them for, disobe for disobedience. And further down from there is a listing of the cursings or the curses. On and on. Yes, just like the, you had the, yeah. the list of the blessings, yeah. you have a list of, of the curses. Yeah. And inside of that, um, verse, um, from verse 45, it says, Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of Yahweh thy Aleim, to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. And they not listening. Yes. I am a son. We're talking about how the people got scattered. I had the wicked ones. The, the nation. The nation itself. The whole nation, the 12 tribes. The 12 tribes. Got scattered. They were scattered among themselves. They, 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 they not gathered. Uh, like how this person came back as as a twelve tribe, because they, because of this one is this way, this is one is this way, this one is this way, they all need to recycle. They have been scattered. Yeah, they need to get so, back. Yeah. So I'm I'm sharing with you then all right, because hopefully. you said you didn't understand. I understand some of them. Yes, you said you didn't understand how they got it's over these scattered. parts from other Israel all over here in the Caribbean. Uh -huh. So I'm just sharing with you a little bit of the understanding understand of how the tribes got scattered. Okay. They were supposed to be obedient to the Heavenly Father the and receive the blessing, read the blessings. Uh -huh. There's a listing of the blessings. If you go to Deuteronomy chapter 28 in your Bible, you can read it for yourself. So I'm just giving you a little overview. And so for disobedience, yeah. there were curses. And it says... Um, because you hearken not unto the voice of Yahweh your Elohim to keep his statutes, his commandments and statutes which he command thee, these curses, he says, shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. In other words, the, 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 um, the effect of the curses upon the twelve tribes such as the scattering itself, being scattered out of their homeland and all through the earth. Yeah, they, they were mingled, mingled, mingled among um, different nations. That, that's, that's a yeah. part of the curse. That's a part of the curse. And another part of the curse yeah, yeah. is being destroyed. Yeah, yeah. Because he says, this, these curses shall come upon thee, in verse 40, 45, shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. I'm showing you why the tribes were yeah, being destroyed by Columbus and the Spaniards yeah, and all yeah, the other yeah. European powers. Uh -huh. You understand? Yeah. It's right here written yeah. in the scriptures. Yeah. Okay, just a few more verses now. So these curses shall be upon you for a sign. In other words, as the, the people would be given the opportunity to read the scriptures again and understand it when they read the scriptures and see what it's saying about this particular group of people yeah. the curses will be a marker like the to marker. bring them back to the understanding yeah. that 
it's talking about you. Yeah, so they don't get the mark of the beast. Well, that's that's a different thing. But we're actually talking about having the understanding of your yourself and your nationality. Yeah. Right? Yeah. These curses, the scattering and the brutality that, that, that has been done to them, um, poverty, you know, sometimes have, uh, hardly having anything to eat, unable to take care of the family and so yeah, forth, I the family breaking up, either. all those things yeah. are part of the curses yeah. as a sign to the people who are suffering in this way yeah. to show them that you are the people of the Most High. That's what these curses are for, a sign and a wonder and upon thy seed forever. You see? Yeah. And so because thou servest not Yahweh thy Elohim with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. The Israelites had abundance everything. of everything. everything. But they didn't serve him. No. So he says, this is what... what he said, this is what, what's going to happen to you. This is long before it happened. Uh -huh. Verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which Yahweh shall send against thee, in hunger, in thirst, in nakedness, and in want of all things. Whatever you want, you're going to serve the enemy. Let me go back and read it from the beginning. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. These were the enemies yeah. of the ancient Hebrew Israelites. Yeah. That the European powers called Indians. They call you that. They call you Indian. Arawak Indian. Lucayan Indian. Oh, oh, they were the ones that named them. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. That's why I'm, I'm, uh, when you maintain that uh, it's the European people that made things so messed up among the congregation of the people. Yes? Yeah. So now, he says that these were your enemies. Yeah. So he, he says, you're going to serve them in the one of all things. And he, that is the enemy, the European powers in particular, yeah. shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he has destroyed thee. Step the human power. Huh? Change. Well, they had the yoke. Mentally, they had the yoke. Yes, <laughs> mentally, physically, spiritually. Yeah, yeah. And and whatever way. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They could yeah. have yeah. you yoked yeah. and in bondage. Yeah. That's what they have done to you. Yeah. And you see, and it says he will do all these things unto unto you until, until he have destroyed you. you. Yeah. So this is showing you a picture of when the emancipation came. It came on the heels of the people having been destroyed. They lost. They lost contact with, with, with the reality. knowledge, with reality, with, yeah, and the right. knowledge of who they were. Right. It's written right here in the scriptures. All right. Let me read you right. one more verse, one well, or two more verses. Um, in verse sixty-six, it says, "Well, let's read verse sixty-five." And among these nations, as they were scattered, shalt thou find no ease. No peace. No peace. Neither shall the soul of thy foot have rest. But Yahweh shall give you there a trembling heart, and failing of eyes, and sorrow of mind. Verse 66. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and, have, and shall have none assurance of thy life in the morning verse 67 in the morning thou shalt say what god what alahim it were even even and at even thou shalt say what alahim it were morning and what in other words when morning come you'll be wishing that it was evening, the evening. and when the evening come you'll be wishing it was, night. It was morning so i'm, 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 I'm going to get like that um, um, don't you think his spirit has been tampered? Pardon me? Don't you think his spirit has been tampered? That's what the scriptures are saying now. Yeah, yeah. That the people would yeah. have no ease. Yeah, see, no. Yeah, yeah. They, they would Make not... Make you comfortable. 
uncomfortable, restless. Yeah, That's exactly. what he's saying. So all these are in the curses that the people who are suffering these yeah, things, true. when they read yeah. in the scripture, yeah. they, could I, they could identify yeah. and come back to the understanding of who they are yeah. through these scriptures. Do yeah. you understand? Yeah. And so the last verse, or let me read the, the ending of verse 67. At evening thou shalt say, Would Elohim it were morning, for the fear of thine heart wherewith thou shalt fear, and for the sight of thine eyes which thou shalt see. Verse 68, the last verse. And Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Then listen, man. Go hmm? By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Silvanus. Sylvanus? Sylvanus. Vanish. Vanish, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What he's saying is that he's going to bring them into a kind of Egyptian yeah. bondage yeah. again. Remember when the Israelites was in bondage in Egypt? Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember that story? Yeah. And so when they were coming out, the father um, had Moses or Moshe say to them, these Egyptians that you're seeing today, yeah. you ain't going to see them no more. They waste away. The Father was destroying them. I, you know, I and, and, and so the Israelites themselves were not supposed to be coming back. They were supposed to be lost. To, no, they were supposed to be going Before. into the Promised Land. Uh, okay. You understand? Yeah. So he said, you're not going to see this place anymore. But it's going to be a new age. Well, no, not, not, not necessarily not in that necessary. sense. What it is saying... When they were leaving Egypt, they were having a promise that they wasn't going to see those people anymore. And they didn't see them anymore, for real. Okay. But he says, I'm going to bring you back into Egypt again. Into bondage again. Yeah. That type of bondage. And this is the bondage that happened when they got scattered out the in last the time. The from, from they was being scattered out yeah, in the a, a, little, a little while after the... After King Solomon, they began to get scattered out. The ten tribes came over these parts. You see? The ten tribes. So they spread all around. All to the Caribbean. What do they call it? The Americas. The New World. You see? And so, so um, and Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there he shall be sold unto your, again this word, enemies. You shall be sold unto your enemies. For the second time. For born men and born women. Do you know what those words mean? No. Born men, slaves. Slaves. Yeah. Slave men and women. Slave men. You go back, to, you go back to the same slavery again. All over again. That's what happened eventually as the rest of the tribes who ran into Africa yeah. in 70 AD yeah. when they brought them out yeah. a few hundred years ago yeah. and they met the brothers and sisters over here who was already here and being yeah. disadvantaged by the European powers wow. you understand? I understand that's what it's talking about and it says and no man shall buy you you're going to be sold to your enemies and no man shall buy you. Do you understand that? Do you, yeah. un do you understand what yeah, I mean? Yeah, you can only be sold to the devil. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but the, the, the ending of it says, and no man shall buy you. Do you yeah. understand what I mean? No. Nobody is going to be able to redeem you. Yeah. You know, when you, when you have a, a slave yeah. or if you go to, a, to an auction yeah. and you take something uh, 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 you yeah. buy something and somebody bid on you exactly. they bid on it yeah. to, to have possession of it yeah to have it but when when you have um a redeemer yeah. the redeemer will you, come will you want to work in power to to to, to blank, blank you out block that out see what's well, long as your power within fire the sun and the holy ghost they can't touch you okay mm -hmm. what, what he's saying is no one will redeem you from this slavery to put you back into the to your right setting, into your own culture, 
with your own way of life. Nobody's gonna come and say, well, give, give me this slave here and, and take him and put him back in his land. Right. Let him have no, his own freedom. Not gonna be like that. No one is going to buy you. Right. That's the job of the Messiah, the Mashiach. Yeah. So that, that's, that was just a short overview I gave you yeah. to help you to understand how these, these tribes were over here and um, why they were being tortured. Sorry. Okay. And brutalized by the European powers yeah. because they were the he Hebrew Israelites. Oh, okay. Now I understand what you're saying so far. So it's yeah. right in your scriptures. Yeah, yeah, you see. Well, now, I read you a verse in Ezekiel 12 to show that the Heavenly Father has a mind to regather these tribes. When I read to you from verse 12, uh, where he says, in verse, in verse 17, therefore saith Yahweh Elohim, I will, I will even gather you from the people and assemble you out of countries where you have been scattered and I will give you the land of Israel. There are many more verses of scriptures in different books that um, tells the same message of being regathered. 12 tribes being regathered um, to go back to their their own homeland. So, what do, what do you think about that, Ella? What do you think about that? Do you, do you have any idea of re repatriation? You heard that word before? No. Repatriate? No. You never heard that before? I'm going to go back home. To go back where you came from? From here. Yeah. 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 What do you think about that? Well, like you say, <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, the Lord God said it, right? Uh -huh. So, I mean, you should heed to what he says. You should heed to what he said? Yeah. I mean, how do you feel then about the idea that, that Israel uh, is your home? It's your real home? This I don't know. You don't know yet? No. So, like I tell you, I'm on the council and going through. Mm -hmm. uh, you asked me this question, but yes. I cannot give you the answer. I, I understand. Uh, so you see? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, now, if I had read and studied the Bible like I used to study the Bible, I'd be able to give you all the answers. Yes. You understand? Yes. yes. So. But I'm still. I still, I still teach it myself. You're still learning? Yeah. Every day. Learning. So you you um you understand what I've been saying yeah, about the, the scattering of the tribe yeah, and, and why they were being butchered yeah, by the yeah, European powers? Yeah, yeah. You receive that? Yeah, I understand. Yes? Yeah. yeah. It, 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 see half of the world understands today is that they the same Maka. The name the same what? The same Maka. I'm um, um, the, the same Satanism then. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, uh -huh. uh, as the devil gathers, he uses many different tribes, many different forms of people to conquer your mind, right? Uh -huh. Just like the European people did before and they continue to do now. Uh -huh. But then you have to walk the way, walk the way, which is the truth. Two way, and if you don't walk the two way, you walk on 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 on, on we'll say it's the narrow way. Mm -hmm. It's two two road, but there's only one road lead to the right road. That's a freedom road. That's Jesus Christ, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Okay. Then you see the European people are the mark of the beast. That's the devil wakes up. The devil get a lot of people wake it, wake it. In high places, preachers too, and they all here I say they serve in the master of it. They they gossip. They 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 not for real. They 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 false prophet. Mm. Uh, yes. Mm. Um, yeah. Yes. Yes. 
so um, uh, um, uh, who's that Willis? Yeah. yeah so like for instance um, you know we have to buy sand that you know you see we get a lot of imitation. I go my cross yeah and then from the floor. Okay all right. Uh, all right. Uh -huh. um, uh, like I said we get a lot of false puppet pretenders and they all come in and guide so you guide you and they guide you they misguide you if you allow them. So that's how it starts. <laughs> so, um, how would you, how would you, um, you can feel that. categorize your, your life in the Bahamas? With, how, how would you, um, say you have lived in the Bahamas? Was it a good life? Was, was it, what, what kind of life have you had in the Bahamas? I, I, I live life. I lived the life uh, with the Lord chose for me to live. I meet some hard times, I still go through some bad times, but I still live because I put my faith in Daniel God, Jehovah. Mm -hmm. And that's the only one that guided me, that direct me yes. to my path. That's why I still stand today. I heard you say that the history of of the past is not being taught to the the young people today. Is that what you said? Not really. Not really. Not really. They teach them something, but uh -huh. they don't teach them everything. And that's why the, the, the generation today is so mixed up. Uh -huh. The mind of twinkle, turn off because of the part of the devil. See, the devil get the majority of them. I stand. Uh, but if they have the right counsel, the right teaching, uh, they will withdraw themselves away from them. I tell you. So then, well, um, my last question to you then is, wh what advice do you have for the younger people in view of the your understanding of how your ancestors were treated in the Caribbean and in the islands of the Bahamas and um, according to the way you have been living now and your your feelings about the fact that the true history is not being taught to the young people what what kind of advice what do you have for them? What did you say to them? You know, well, you need to, to help, to help you, and guide you them. You need an open council meeting. Congregation of the Not one denomination, but all denominations. And let all denominations gather. Get together. Mm -hmm. And teach the youth. Teach the young youths. But until then, they spread the wild, they like wild flowers. When you say um, all all the congregations should come Change together, change denomination: Anglican, Roman, Catholic, uh, Bishop, Episcopal, whatever denomination, uh -huh. they should get together as a congregation and fold, and then lecture. Like how you come here and you, I lecture from you, and you lecture from us, and then continue to carry on and bring the, uh, bring the gatherings back to them as it were before, when we was a little kid. Rather than we get old and our mind just get that sleep, we free, we refresh our mind, <laughs> refresh our memory, Yes. We carry on. Okay? Uh -huh. See, like some of the preachers today, they preach it. They, 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 they preach it, but they ain't teaching. Okay. You know, you gotta preach, you gotta teach before you preach. Mm -hmm. So the congregation would understand. Mm -hmm. But if the congregation would understand, they still ought to go That's why Satan just keep.
see you. Mm-hmm. Um. Do you think that you you would ever have all these all this gathering together of these denominations that you talk about to come together and, and teach the young people? Do you see foresee that happening? It could happen if you if, if someone make a stand. But we were looking a while ago at the scripture and seeing that your ancestors whom I have um, shared with you the understanding that uh, uh, the, the probability that they were a part of the ancient Hebrew Israelites and um, showing you how how and why they were scattered and mistreated the way they they were, the way they have been, and as they are still being mistreated. Because of the lack of understanding. O okay, so in, 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 in view of that, do you see this coming together of these denominations? It can to, happen to, like I expressed to you a little while ago. You have to make a form. Uh, if you don't make a form, it will not happen. If you, if you, if, 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 if you got to make the right form, the right choice. Right choice. Okay. I hear you. I hear you, Elder. It's all about making the right choice. So is, is this the word you have for the young people now? Yeah. Um, how how um how do you suppose the young people would um respond? Yeah, respond to to what you are saying. Open up the knowledge, open up the brains, teach. It's like, it's like me going to school and, and I go to school, what I go to school for? To learn knowledge. And when I get in school, I, 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 I study. I have to continue studying this, like I used to study. Get a congregation together like that, and, 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 and spread it, let it continue to grow. Okay. Uh, well, Elder Samuel, I thank you for the little time we, we spent together. Um, I hope that um, what I have shared with you from what I know, what I've help you somewhat to get a better understanding of yourself oh. and like I, just like I tell you I just teach it myself and a better understanding of your past yes. history and um, so your your admonition is for the people to be taught yeah. taught better the history and their culture. Yeah. Right, thank you, sir. Yeah.